Hey everyone, this has been a really difficult video for me to make. Tackling the issue of everything that's happened uh, leading up to the George Floyd incident and everything that's ensued afterwards. Uh, all the hurt and the pain, the suffering from the black community. It's been really hard to address everything that's been going on. Because I know the Lord has been really urging me to speak out and give my support of the black community. But I've been really wrestling and saying like, as a white man, what authority do I really have to say? What can I really say to thank the black community, to give back to everything they've given to me? What can I really say to honor them? because I know this is such a vulnerable time. This is such an emotional time. Like it was just so hard for me that like, what can I really say? And the Lord has been really working on my heart and has really been opening my eyes to things as all has unfolded. I've been observant as much as I can to how the black community is feeling and he's really led me to one thing in particular. He, he really got me to stop looking at the generalities of just throw a message out there to pertain to this. He's just really said, Isaac, it's not that complicated. Think back in your own life, even not even back, like currently think about in your own life, all the amazing loving, caring, compassionate things the black community has done for me. All the things that I didn't deserve, but the black community looked past my skin color and gave to me something I don't think I can ever truly give back. And that's what I wanted to honor today is for all of you who have helped me, all the black lives out there, they truly do matter because not out of the things they've done for me, but because in that community is just so much love, so much compassion, so much protection, so much just insurgence, influx of kindness. It's the best way I can describe it, that the black community has picked me up in the most depressing, lonely parts of my life where when I'm feeling some type of way, like I, you know, maybe I don't really know what to do with myself anymore. A black person's calling me, not anyone else. My black friends are calling me, my leaders in faith are calling me, inspiring me to keep going, inspiring me to love others and to love God even more. And that's what I want to honor today, that all the teachers, all the preachers, all the pastors, all the friends, all the brothers and sisters in Christ, all the athletes, the musicians, the skateboarders, everything and everyone that I've experienced in each facet of my life, the black community has been a part of it. They have been such a huge influence to where I boldly claim with out the black community, I would not be 100% who I am today. That I would not be compassionate, loving, kindness, all this stuff that they showed me, I wouldn't be showing it to others without them. I really wanna give honor to all my friends and all my family at First Love London all my friends and family with No Stress FC, which is now disbanded, but you get it. You get it. It was good whilst it lasted. But also the black friends that I've experienced at St. Leo. Sometimes they were the only ones taking me aside and saying, you're doing a really good job and we appreciate you being out here. Like, because I'm a photographer and for them to take that initiative to see that I'm there with a genuine heart, it just, it makes me emotional to think about it because once again, the black community is there providing the love and the kindness that so many people don't give a chance to see it in them. 
And I'm just so thankful, so thankful to God for the black community because I cannot reiterate this enough. I wouldn't be who I am without the black community. And I want to give honor to all those teachers. I, there's so, it's, I put it to you like this. They've helped me so much throughout my life and public school and university and sports, everything, church especially with my redemption home now, my redemption church where I'm at now, the black community continues to treat me like a brother, like a son. And I'm just so thankful to God that racism hasn't prevailed in me, racism hasn't consumed me, but I see the black community as human beings, as equals that we're all created equal under God and we are all given salvation through Jesus Christ together. And I just want to say thank you, not only to the black community, but to God for all the kindness that I've received from them. And I just want to read a couple of scriptures before I go that uh, just to give back a little bit in the gospel. John three sixteen: for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And just like God has been so giving to us, I know I've said it time and time again in the past few minutes, but the, the black community has given to me. And I'm not talking about tangibles. I'm not talking about giving rides. I'm not talking about giving money or buying. I'm talking about they've given me a piece of their heart to take with me and to, and to share with others. And I'm just so thankful and then lastly, for all the people suffering from racism out there, Matthew 22, 36 through 40, Jesus said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments, hang all the law and the prophets. And so I just wanna say thank you for all the black lives out there, for those I haven't met yet, for those who I won't ever meet. You mean something not only to me, but you mean something to so many people. And so please just, just always remember that, that you guys are worth something. You're not just the group that we point at and, and talk about. You're worth something. You're worth something not only to me, not only to white people, the different races, but you mean something to God. You are his children. So don't ever forget that, that you're, you're worth something to everyone. Everyone needs you because you are a vital, a vital body of not only the society, but of the body of Christ. And so I thank you and I wanna say I love you all. And just stay encouraged, stay loving stay kind stay compassionate to people that don't deserve it because that's what you guys are best at giving grace to someone that doesn't deserve it that that seemingly i don't know this guy why would i give him you, you guys are best in that that stepping out of your comfort zone and making someone feel like they're worth something and i'm i just pray that i've given a little piece of that back to you guys today Thank you so much again, all the black community. God bless all of you guys and just remain strong because I have confidence that the Lord is gonna take care of this. God bless you all and I'll see you soon.